Hey everyone, if you're here looking for new track mods, you've come to the right place. So today I've got eight new or updated tracks and two tracks with some awesome winter skins and new physics. They are brilliant to drive. If you are also looking for more car mods, guides and tutorials on CSP, Pure and Sol, then do check out the rest of the videos on the channel. Over 300 videos now on a set of Corsa. So there's something there for everyone. Right then, let's jump right in and take a look at our first track today. The first mod we're going to look at today is Samangi Interchange. Now this is actually set in Jakarta, it's a street circuit, it's at version 0.93. It's by Legionnaire Frances, it's 4.4 kilometers long and it's the second street circuit from their hyperdrive cities. This is a very high quality mod and I really enjoy driving it. I do love these street circuits with all the details on the buildings, the shadows, the glass, everything. Done really well, let's take a look at it. As with all my videos, all the links are in the description and these are all free mods when the video goes out in December 22. This is a fantastic circuit but let's jump onto something a little bit different. This is of course Wicklow Mountains and the reason I've got it on the list today is in December it's been updated. It's now at version 1.1.0. It's by of course Jake Grafton and there's a new section of road that's been added so in my book that makes it a new track. This has got four sections, it's a huge huge free roam track. It's also got AI on there though full CSP integration it's a free road but you can put traffic on too it's really cool stuff if you've not seen this yet and you've not added it to your collection it's an absolute must I have covered it in some of my free roam videos before but it carries on getting developed I know Jake said at version 1 he was just going to optimize but there's still more going in there so do check it out that's Wicklow Mountains next up we have Rhett's Autodrome this is at version 1.2 and this is by Maxim555 King so this is a fictional track, it's got two DRS zones, it's got AI, track cameras, all the things that you would expect and it's just been updated again to have new pit boxes. One big thing about this track that you can probably see on screen is all the chicanes and curves. It's a brilliant hoop to drive. Check out these open wheelers racing around the Rets Autodrome. The next mod is a very special one and I've been following this since it was in early beta. This is Arabasada which is now at version 1 and it's by Sim Racer. So I was lucky enough to drive this beta, it seems like months and months and months ago, but a lot has happened since then so this is now really polished and there's been more additions to it very recently. It's 5.25 kilometers long, 40 pits, working traffic lights, CSP, rain effects, it's also got online traffic servers. So I'm just giving you a quick view of it today and you can download it in this present format, but I am going to in a future video show you all the traffic working on this. Next up we have Varna which is a fantasy track set in Bulgaria. Now this was designed for F1 by Sim Race in Bulgaria. It's 5 kilometers long, 32 pit boxes and it has 3 DRS zones. This is a very very fast track, let's take a look at it in action. That's a brilliant track to drive in the Dallara. Now today we do have a sponsor for the video and today's sponsor is Flexispot. 
Welcome to my YouTube studio and as you can see it's not a big space and I do cram a lot of tech in here so I've got my gaming set up, I've also got all my connections to my main rig, I've got an arcade machine and I've also got my gaming laptop and my editing laptop and that's why today's sponsor FlexiSpot is a brilliant addition to any productivity space or gaming setup and I'm going to show you why. So the first reason is this desk is very well made and this is the E7 standing desk. It also has some great cable management underneath the desk which is really important when you're putting lots of different tech on board but the main thing with this desk is that it's a standing desk so as you can see the legs are actually motorized they go up and down inside the leg making it a really cool solution also it has this cool memory function so you can set the desk to different heights whether that's standing or sitting and the press of a button the desk will go there it's also got a USB charger on there for your phone which is brilliant now when I'm not using my main Fanatec rig I sometimes use this G29 and as you can see it won't go under the desk easy with the stand-up desk we can just raise it up and put the wheel underneath the desk much easier when you're racing down Shotoko and because I spend a lot of time at my computer, this wobble stool is absolutely perfect. You sit on these and it helps improve your posture as well as being able to do your work. Do check out all the links in the description to FlexiSpot's website and all of their current Christmas offers as this video goes out in December 22. Thanks to FlexiSpot for supporting today's video. Okay, on to the next track, and this is one of my favorites today, and this is the Kazan Ring Canyon version one by SMP Racing. This is located in Kazan, which is the capital of Tatarstan, and it opened in 2011. It's 3.4 kilometers long. It's got a 28 meter elevation difference as you go up and down the hill at the back end of the circuit. It's a really cool, well done circuit. I thought it was particularly suited to some vintage racing, so here we go. So we're already up to number seven on the list and that is Sliven International. This is at version 1.1.0. This is by RMI Wood who we know creates some fantastic circuits. This was supposed to be built in the early 80s in real life but it didn't get built next to the Hungaro ring. It's got full CSP support, 20 pits. It's actually a convert from R Factor and that mod was actually made by Nikolev 71 so a big shout out to him. That's a great track to add to your collection. Now this next track I've got very fond memories of. I covered this when I was very early in my time on YouTube in December 20. It's had a lot of updates in December 22 and that's why I put it in this list. So this is Lee Mancor Champs by Shin956. It's a fictional track, it's converted from GTR2, 6.7 kilometers long, 30 pits, AIs, replays, rain effects, all the things that you would expect. So this is a brilliant fun track, do check it out. Remember all the download links are in the description. That is eight tracks down then and the next two are going to surprise you a little bit if you didn't know this could be done. So this is the Nordschleifer, the Kunos version and this is a winter skin for it but it's not just a winter skin, it actually adds winter physics as well. Now firstly it looks beautiful but there is also a grip change with this as well so when you're driving around in your favourite car you will feeling very different, in fact very wintry. Now there's not just one track this has been done to, there's a few but the second one I'm going to cover today is Trento Bondone. So this is another winter skin with the grip changes and these have both been 
modded by Giuseppe Abanoli. Now they're both at version 1. There are obviously other modders that were involved in making the general skin. So a big shout out to all the modders today for creating all these fantastic toys that we can play with in a set of Corsa. And I do love that Santa Claus hanging from that window. Absolutely brilliant. So that's 10 different tracks for you today guys. I hope you've enjoyed that. Do check out the rest of the channel. If you've not subscribed yet, why not? It's completely free and you'll get notified of all the latest videos. See you very soon.